everyone, this is a quick face and outfit of the day. I know these are kind of lame um, in the sense that it's sort of an easy cop out to slap one of these up and, and get it up there. But I know there are a lot of you that actually enjoy these shorter outfit of the days. I do plan on filming a longer video tomorrow. I want to do some of my husband's favorite products. And the only reason I'm not doing that today is because he went on a business trip. He's back in town, but he went straight from the airport to the office and uh, he took his favorite stuff with him, so I don't have it here to show you. <clears throat> and I'm still getting over that weird cough phlegm <coughs> thing that I had last week, so sorry that I'm hacking through this. Anyway, I just wanted to show you um, my outfit of the day. It's a little bizarre. It is, the weather reports say that it's gonna range anywhere from 80 to 88 degrees today. It's February, February 23rd. Okay, insanity. Anyway, so in honor of that, I'm dressing a little summary. So, um, on my face, I did just everything completely differently than I do regularly, which is another video explanation, but, um, so I've been using for moisturizer lately this CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Um, I'll get into that. I, I'm using Retin-A and um, my skin is peeling like crazy, which I guess is expected and normal uh, in the first few weeks, but um, I just need to moisturize, 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 and I, and I have to also use fairly gentle um, products. So Dermaquest is on hold for a, just a little bit and I'm missing it, but in the meantime, um, CeraVe moisturizer, and then over that, I am using um, a subscriber, Sweet Sweet subscriber sent me two samples of BB cream and this is the one that matches me perfectly, I think. It's the Misha Signature Real Complete BB Cream uh, number 21 in light pink beige. And uh, that's what I'm using for foundation. And then blush, I'm also not putting this in the description box today, which is why I'm going product by product. Um, for blush, I'm using the very first and only <laughs> MAC blush that I ever owned, which is MAC Buff. As you can see, it's almost ready to back to MAC it. It's very, it's hard to see because this, here, that's better. It's just a very light buff, mauve rose. Um, my eyes are kind of fun. I will zoom in a little bit. So, very soft, very natural, but not exactly. I used um, the Berry M Dazzle Dust in 38. I'm sure it has a name, but I don't know what it is, but the number is 38, and it looks like looks like nothing. But when you uh, get it on your finger, it, it's just the prettiest. Um, it's very similar to Naked Pigment by MAC. It's a little more, I hate to use the word pigmented, but it's a little more of a color to it. It's not just naked. It's more of a beige, rosy beige undertone. And then in the crease, I have NYX Brown, my old standby. And um, for a liner, brought out an, uh, another one I haven't used in a while, is the Jordana Fabu Liner. It's fabulous in brown. It's just a felt tip thing. And um, quite easy to use. Then on my lips, I have the YSL Rouge Volupte. Volupte. Somebody tell me which it is. Um, in number two. And over that, I have a Sephora lip gloss in peach, fresh peach. Just looks like that. It's just very light, natural makeup. But the coolest thing I did today was I finally broke out my uh, Bourjois Volume Fast and Perfect mascara, which, um, look at that. It has a switch. Can you see that? Focus has a switch so you take out the brush and then depending on which direction you want to go, let's see if you can see this. Can you hear that? And there it goes. I love gadgets. This might be the coolest mascara I've ever had and it coated my lashes I think amazingly. Like I think they look even longer than the other bourgeois one that I've been using and it's clearly, I think it's the brush because it gets all the way in there and really, it's totally cool. In fact, I think when this is all dried up, you can replace the battery. I'm just gonna dunk this into all my mascaras. Um, that's my plan, anyway. 
So uh, for those of you who do not live in France or the UK, you can get it on ASOS.com. It's free shipping, which I was very happy to see. You can get both of my favorite mascaras there, both the bourgeois. Um, they're both under $20, so less than uh, typical department store mascaras, a little more than your average drugstore mascara, but I think definitely worth it. Um, then for the rest of my outfit, earrings, I don't know where I got these. Um, I think a farmer's market or some like random thing. Um, same with the jewelry. I actually got these at my uh, car dealership. They have a little boutique when we brought the car in for routine maintenance. This was from a boutique in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. This I got at Sam Moon in Dallas. Uh, same thing, this is from a boutique in Blowing Rock. This is from Walmart. I don't know if they still make these, but that's where I got it. And now I will zoom out and show you the rest of my outfit. Now I will say that my bottom half is nothing exciting. It's just jeggings. Um, I just, I'm not ready to expose my pasty white legs to the world. But here's the rest of me. I was feeling a little funky. Uh, it's this flowy, I feel like I meant like a snow angel. I'm certainly the same color as one. It is a, um, just a gauze top with some ribbon trim um, that I got at a uh, place in San Antonio called El Mercado, and it's a market square, and it's just a, um, it's a take on a typical Mexican kind of street market, but it's a permanent fixture in downtown San Antonio, so um, really, really cool, funky things. This is probably 20 bucks, I'm guessing. It was cheap, cheap stuff. Just that. It is completely see-through, so I just have on a um, cami type tank thing, um, just thin strap. Where are the straps? Where'd they go? Great, now I'm naked. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, just a thin strap um, from Old Navy. And I have to say, um, sharing a little feminine undergarment secret, the bra that I'm wearing under it is a strapless bra, and I can't obviously show that to you, but um, it was recommended to me by The Daily Cupcake, and um, it's a strapless bandeau bra. I got mine at Steinmart. You can find them in like most department stores, and it's not like the structured, stiff with the, with the latch strapless bra. It's just a stretchy, like a bandeau top. So much more comfortable than any strapless bra I've ever worn, and I actually can go through the whole day without, you know, waking it up. So... I don't have a specific brand name for you, but they're fabulous. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm wearing for shoes. They're my really old silver sandals. I mean, they're so old, they're cracking, whatever. I should probably buy new ones, but like these, got these at DSW a gajillion years ago. And the hair is a wreck. I attempted to curl it with my GHD flattening iron. Not good. I am hair impaired, like just, now to be fair, um, I woke up with, I went to bed with my hair wet, so it started like this crazy frizzy mess, and there's still some frizzy pieces I just never really got to, but, you know, this is, I'm hoping people are distracted by my ridiculous shirt and will not be looking so much at my hair today. So anyway, let me hobble on over here. That is the look, and I uh, hope wherever you are, you're warm and happy, and I will see you all in the next video, hopefully tomorrow. Bye-bye.